So how is third degree price discrimination like in the real world? For example, early bird discounts is how we can see price discrimination happen in the real world. It is also called intertemporal price discrimination because the firm divides consumers based on the time they purchase the good. So we have two separate markets. One market where the consumer purchases, um, say, railway tickets early, and the other example of consumers who purchases railway tickets late. The consumers who purchase it uh, railway tickets early, like say three months before the actual date of travel, have more time to explore alternative modes of transport, like air, um, airplanes or, or say buses. So the price um, elasticity of their demand is very um, high and they can choose um, between many substitutes for railway travel. And those who book it late probably see it as a necessity. So the price elasticity of their demand is very low because they don't have many options and they need to travel at a time. Examples will be uh, business people who have to take business trips and they do not have so much of a leeway for the time they choose to make their business trip. So based on this difference in price elasticities between the two sub-markets, we can um, uh, extract more of the consumer surplus by um, charging different prices for the early birds and um, higher prices for the late birds. Another example would be in public transport where um, young people like students and old people like elderly get um, concession prices on their fares. And if you think about it this way, at first it's not very apparent why the um, students have a, a higher price elasticity of demand for their bus fares. But if you think about it this way, the the adults who are charged the full fare for their bus trips actually need to use the bus more because they need to travel to their workplaces. On the other hand, um, people like um, the elderly uh, who are retired, they can always choose to walk or um, the students can always choose to take um, school buses. So they have a lot more options. And based on this um, difference in price elasticity, again, um, the firms can choose to use third degree price discrimination to increase their profits.